Today, I wanted to make a really quick video tutorial to show you how we can collect e-consent and closing disclosures via DocuSign. This is what the flow of my home screen looks like. I'll just go ahead and click on home. And you'll see here that I have a button that says start new loan flow, along with the active test loan flows that I've created earlier. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'll go ahead and select start new loan flow. And then from here, my goal is to put in the borrower's details. So I'll just call this GMFS borrower demo, and then I'll put in their email address. As I do so, you'll notice that this Encompass loan file number is already populated to either connect to an existing file or create a new file. Just for the sake of this demo, I'm going to have this create a new file. But you can also have it write to an existing file so that the closing disclosure and e-consent automatically appear there. I'm going to ignore most of these fields, but I will select the lay borrower loan flow access. As a processor, I want to give the closer the ability to decide exactly when they want to invite the borrower to the loan flow. And that way they can control all the settings and timing to know and make sure that everyone is on the same page. Next, I'll just select a property state. We have two listed, and I'll just use Arkansas for this example. And then we're going to skip past both Realtors and Partners and this section here, directly to Quick Pads. So Quick Pads are a set of pre-selected documents that we're going to ask the borrower to provide. I'm not going to deselect all of these, and I should just go and select our sample closing disclosure, which you'll find right down here. But you'll notice there's a little eyeball on the right-hand side. I can click on the eyeball to have a quick preview of the document that I've uploaded for closing. Finally, I'm just actually going to go ahead and select start new loan flow. What this allows me to do is to see here that for GMFS's borrower demo, the current status is that the borrower has not been invited to the loan. So they're not aware that Flowify has created anything on their behalf and they have not received a welcome email yet from Flowify. All you have to do as a closer, click on any of these budgets. I'm just going to click on documents owed for this demo. And then go ahead and once you're ready to invite the borrower to provide their e-consent and sign the sample closing disclosure, I'm going to select invite borrowers. It will ask me to confirm that I would like to do so. I will say yes. And now I know that the borrower has received an email.